simple way using some of the same shapes in different chords all right so the first one is a c69 which is right here going to an f79 i would go to the eighth fret like this then going to a d79 which is exactly the same shape of the chord but in the fifth fret the D minor 7 with a 9, it's only one note different from this one. So you just slide back the first finger. Okay, and the other thing is, you can, you can feel it by, uh, the, the other thing is you can cut slightly the first, the first the, remember the part of the surdo is pap, kaboom, wap. Remember that? Do you have to mute it? Yeah. You say ba a boom So we're trying to imitate that sound. So it's actually super cool not to play much this style. What what drives it is that. And you just have to find good ways to go from chord to chord. So this one's gonna be one, two, three, sound. C the fifth. F the fifth to D the fifth. Stay there. Stay there because it's minor. G C F. Imagine, imagine you can even stay on the same note and it sounds okay. So it's, it's not not bad.
Same stuff in three. In three. Uh, so, now yes. like when you're counting that, how do you count it? So, yeah, so, I mean, for me, it's, it's easier to count the actual um, subdivision. So, if I have, let me see. So if I have this, mm -hmm. I count 1EN. One one e right? If I have this, 1N. One e, one e One and one and one e and one e and one 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 and and one and one and one so we'll do base two. I mean base four. So base four on the same. Okay, uh, so I'll count 
one bar. We are here at the second page of this block, is page four. So it's a three four. Okay. So one, two, three, Let's not do it so those three uh, groups of notes. Okay? So, so that we get used to this line. Those figures. So I'll count one bar. One E and a two E and a two E and a. Wow. wow. 